If you've ever been drunk and laying in bed just doom scrolling on the internet and you end up shopping and pulling the trigger on something that either looked pretty dumb at the time that you wouldn't normally do or you just got a laugh out of it so you bought it anyway. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. What's up y'all? So today, I'm playing with the Klon pedal. So what's up y'all? Today, I'm gonna play a con pedal. So the backstory is, I was doom scrolling while laying in bed one night. I was on reverb, as one does. And I was looking through, just for anything that catches my eye, whether it be a guitar amp, a pedal, interesting guitars, just about anything. And I have a, a wide, a wide spectrum I like to look at things and it's it's not ever truly defined I just kind of go through a whole category and just scroll through the latest offerings or latest postings or just anything that's like limited edition rare etc and I came across a Klon pedal that I was not familiar with it was copper and it was a Jeff Beck modded Archer so what it is is J Rocket Audio Designs came out with the Jeff Beck Mod Archer, which is a Klon circuit built into a pedal that is the exact specifications of Jeff Beck's personal Klon. And they did this, and they made this pedal, but it's originally silver. So then in 2022, they ran a limited edition version of it that was in a copper enclosure. And the copper really caught my eye, so I decided, you know what, I'll pull the trigger on that one. Shot the guy an offer, and he accepted, and here we are today. I'm going to run the J Rocket Archer Jeff Beck mod into my Gibson Skylark for some low gain, semi-clean push tones. And then I'm also going to run it into my orange dual dart. Kind of where I would use a tube screamer. I'm going to use it to try to brighten up the amp and give it a little push to get it into a more high gain territory. I mean, the, the amp's already high gain, but I want to tame that low end and all those low mids. So we're going to see if it can do it. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. Look at that beautiful sky. I love the stockyards in the morning. I mentioned I had a new couple of things showing up. Let me get a flashlight on for you guys. And one of those was a new air conditioning unit because I've been having problems with my air conditioning unit. So I fully installed it. We should be good to go. So now that I got a new AC, we're going to open a new pedal. So this is what happens when you let the intrusive thoughts get to you. You end up finding a deal on a Klon pedal online and you order it. So I've been looking at different Klons. So this is actually not a new pedal, it's just a new to me pedal. So back in 2022, there's a company called J Rocket. And what J Rocket did is they were given the licensing to make Klon pedals and with their Klon pedals 
This is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. But essentially with their Klon pedals, the KTR had come out, which was a version two of the original Klon. Uh, it's the big red Klon that you see. And with this version two red Klon, Bill Finnegan needed somebody that he could trust in order to make them that he would allow to have the manufacturing side of it. So essentially he outsourced to J Rocket Audio Designs and they were the ones making part of it. I don't know about all of it, but they handled a lot of the manufacturing of the pieces. I believe it's a PCB board. They did a lot of that and that's why it's in a different enclosure. And it was just cost effective. It made more sense. That's how they went about doing that. So they essentially know exactly how to make a clone. Fast forward, they started making the J Rocket Archer, which is a clone, and uh, it's supposed to be pretty similar to the original clone. A lot of clones, the tolerances were, were just a little here and there, so all, not all clones sound alike. There is some differences to them. And with those differences, some people say that some clones sound better than others. One of those people that said that was Jeff Beck. This is the Jeff Beck Archer by J Rocket Audio Designs. And this one is in copper. Super cool, super little. I did not expect it to be this little. That's rad. So essentially, all this pedal is, is output, treble, and gain. That's all this pedal has. Nothing fancy, nothing else in it. I believe internally, this pedal, you run it at nine volts, and internally, it doubles to 18 volts. That is what the original Klon did. Very simple pedal. This is your on off button right here. This is your gain. Turn it up for more gain. Turn it down to the left for less gain. You've got your output and you've got your treble. That's it. You just run your guitar in, guitar out. That's your power. I believe this can run a nine volt battery internally. You have to remove this plate and you can install one. I almost never run internal batteries in any pedal and this thing has some substantial weight it's it feels like a good piece of metal part of the reason that I pulled the trigger on this one because I mean there's a lot more that are way cheaper than this and clones can get up there even the clones can get up there in price part of the reason I pulled the trigger on this was because I also have a pedal from Ernie Ball that's in copper as well it's kind of a rose gold copper try to pull this up see if these colors will pop up on the on the screen I wanted to kind of match these because I do plan on putting these together on a board and running the, the Klon or the Jeff Beck Archer and then I want to run this as my delay and reverb that's the idea here and all this really does if you look at it reverb feedback time it's got a tap tempo ability input output and power and essentially what it does is you go from a completely dry signal, nothing fancy, no other options, and then you drop the treadle and it goes fully wet. And so what that means is everywhere in between you have variations of the wet signal added to your dry. There's no way to turn it off, it's always on. So one of the cool things about it is I use this to blend in a little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay. That's how I do my lead sounds. That's what I did for slide guitar. You saw Southern Convoy. This was on for the slide part. I didn't have it on for the whole song. I swept it in probably with these settings where it's at right now. I swept it in probably about, let's see, probably about right there. And that gave me just enough where it was in the background. It was a blend in and then from there, I can just add a little bit more reverb or delay in mixing. I believe I added a little bit of reverb to kind of glue things together, but this was the primary source of the reverb and delay. But yeah, I'm excited. This is my first Klon. I figured I'd get a really good representation and Jeff Beck essentially had his Klon taken to J Rocket so that they could take it apart and figure out why his sounds the way it does so they could recreate it for him. That's what this is for. So, he wanted to have a more reliable Klon that he could take on the road with him. So let's go ahead and try this out. First, I'll play it through my Gibson Skylark and I'll do some quieter tones with it. And I'll blend in the Ernie Ball delay 
the ambient delay here and there so you can hear what it's going to sound like. Let's take a look and see if this will also tighten up my orange dual dark. And I'll play it through the dual dark as well so that we can see if it'll tighten it up, kind of like a tube screamer would. That's how I would think about using this. I think this might work in both scenarios. So, all right, let's 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 check it out. So for my first con, this pedal really does shine in the way that people say it's an always on pedal. It fits in the mix very well. In the room you don't really hear it, but once you put a microphone on your speaker cabinet, it really does fit in just perfect. It's definitely a keeper. I do plan on getting more Klon pedals and Klon clones, but the Jeff Beck Mod Archer is definitely a keeper and I'm going to be using it on a lot of recordings here in the future. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like, push that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Today's dad advice. Learn to spend your money wisely. I didn't really anticipate spending as much money on this con pedal as I did, but it was a good deal and it was a limited edition on top. But also, I wasn't paying thousands of dollars for the ones that you see on eBay or on Reverb, which is like $4,000, $5,000, $6,000. I got a good deal. 
and I know it's something that even if I don't really like it, it'll retain its value. But I could only make sure that I could get that because I learned how to use my money wisely in the purchases. And I know it's something that I got that I'm going to use on recordings, I'm going to use in the studio, I might use it live. I can use it on multiple instruments. I might even use it on something dumb, like we'll figure out what it sounds like, a clon on a snare drum. The point is, I know I'm gonna get some mileage out of it. It's something that I thought about for a while before just pulling the trigger on. And I did my research. I know what they go for on the market. I know what they are costing when they're used or when they're new. I know all the different builders. I know what I was getting into. And then I factor in financially spending my money correctly. So learn finance. Learn how to use money correctly and save. That's all I got guys. And if you like this video, go ahead and push that like button, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. And remember, pull hard, play hard. The major crux of riding a motorcycle is I can't pick up a drink and that HTO sounds really good. But fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, no fortunately, they're not open because it's too early in the morning so no HTO for me. I wonder if there's any other state that has like a tea place where they like have their logo for the state or the outline of it in their logo the way HTO has it. Texas, like California. I could see California maybe doing that. I bet you a bunch of places have a Colorado.